It's only for who you belong to. Who you belong to. Who your highest though? Bitch, act like you don't know who I am. Say my name. Chief. Chief who? Look at me. See you white devil? You got that white man in you, bitch. Thousands of dollars, you trying to fuck my money up. That's what these light-skinned bitches do. They try to turn you down. But y'all ain't gonna beat me. I'm an original black man, bitch. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? You leaving? Let me know. I I I put up a motherfucking cash and F who leaving. Let me know. What you wanna do, bitch? You my bitch or what? You remember what I tell you what? Hurry up and answer, bitch. I ain't fucking playing with you. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hmm. You want, ooh, this thing hitting, boy. Yeah. Now my phone will get hot. Chocolate, no more, no more light skins. You got enough. I'm trying to turn y'all chocolate with this sun. Yep. Baking y'all out here in the sun, trying to make y'all. Yep. I know dark skin women just scared of me. I don't. They like the light skin man. And then I won't. So here are some pictures of Efero as a little baby and her parents, just to show that yes, she is actually biracial. I mean, I was around it like my Babylon dad, he kind of hood. He took me around that, but I never really got into it like that. I was always focused on like being better than what I seen. I, I was like the one who went to college, who was in school doing good. I was about to start my own business. I was about to get a whole job, but like none of that was truly feeding me. So I went online, I went into spirituality to just figure out more things about myself and it was some information that you could get from other teachers, but like nobody's teaching what Baba G is teaching. Like mm -hmm. So you agree with what I what I was teaching. That's a whole was, fact. I, and you wanna be here. That's a whole fact. Nobody forced you to be here. That's mm -hmm. actually Did I ask you to come here? No, I, I was in Baba G DM like, can I please come? Like you live in the truth. You live in the real life. This how do you feel about motherfuckers, motherfuckers leaving and switching up? I just feel like they weak. For me personally, I seen the truth and I seen the lifestyle. And I was like, I was gonna come here, you know, do the right thing, live in truth, be into my nature. And when I got shown myself, I, I honestly didn't expect the spiritual journey was gonna be this hard. Like this shit is hard. It is not easy. Look at your. We are not in nature eating fruit and chilling, nigga. We facing demons. Everything that y'all running from, we're literally facing that. So you know, the people that are left and are talking about Baba G, those are just the people so that are weak. So you come to the group, you gotta. You, 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 you get faced with your demons mm -hmm. through the people in the group. That's a fact. It's no other way to get your demons but by right. the other people in the group. Even that's though that's your right. family exactly. and these are people that you're running up on exactly. and you see these. Um, in some of those photos, they did show her white grandmother, which in my first Nature Boy video, speaking on Nature Boy and Efru, he brought that up as a weapon against her. Um, so... If anybody wanted to put a face to the name, that is her grandmother, her mother, and her father. Hello, multiracial fam. So I haven't done a Nature Boy video in a while, but I decided to do one because of the recent news. I'm going to go ahead and get into the video, give you my reaction, and then go ahead and tell you the good news at the end. By the way, trigger warning, Nature Boy is absolutely disgusting. Um, if you haven't seen my Nature Boy video, I would suggest checking out my first Nature Boy video. Today I'm going to be focusing on a Nature Boy and Efferu because she's really not talked about at all. Um, she's biracial. This guy is basically this pro-black cult leader and the way that he specifically um, points out Efferu is disgusting and I really have never seen anybody really report on it because 
his cult first started off being called carbonation um or no it was called melanation and then it turned into carbonation and when it was melanation um colorism actually was very much heavily documented in his uh, first few years of his first cult named melanation and it was called melanation because it was called melanation because Clearly, he's dark skin, and that's basically what he was trying to get others to worship. I'm a dark skin god, and that was like his whole thing. And he claimed to love, love, love dark skin women. But if you look up at a lineup of his wives throughout the year, ma years, majority of them have been light skinned or mixed race. Um, and then he'll have like a few dark skinned women in, in there th thrown in there here and there. But majority of his wives are light skin or mixed race. Um, Eferu is the only one. Um, while I, I guess documented a little bit of her abuse in my first nature boy video where he actually brings up her being mixed race and her being less than for being mixed race. And a lot of people don't know that when nature boy started his cult melanation colorism was a huge part of it. He was like, Oh, I believe dark skinned women don't get enough love, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, I love dark skinned women, but then went on to make a light skinned woman, his queen. And then also like Eferu has always pretty much been up there in the ranks. And he would literally have dark skin, new like dark skinned women come to his camp and he wouldn't even wife them. Meanwhile, he's wifing all the light skins and the mixed race woman that he supposedly cannot stand because she's mixed race. Um, you know, just just a bunch of that rhetoric in the in the black community where he was, you know, telling Eferu, you know, you got that white devil in you and blah, 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 blah. These things are a big deal. And so. I think it's very funny how the world is captivated by Nature Boy, but nobody has pointed this fact out that he's literally abusing not only light skinned women and mixed race women, but mixed race men and light skinned men. Um, there are there are a few males in his camp and a majority of them are light skinned. And then there's like one Indian boy. It's crazy. And he also treats him the worst and has brought up his race and thinks that he's basically inferior to him because he's Indian. So I don't know. He, it, it, this is very much his cult is very much race has a lot to do with it and skin tone has a lot to do with it. Um, there are some dark skinned people there and I'm not saying that he treats them any better, but all I am going to say. All I am going to do is definitely point out the aggression that he has towards light skinned people and mixed race people and how he has actually brought that up to throw in their face. I have never seen him um, throw the fact that someone was dark skinned in their face because why would he do that? He's dark skinned himself. But anyways, it's a little bit of the hypocrisy. There's definitely colorism at play here as, as far as like light skinned folks. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the one that just did the slapping is a dark skinned woman. Her name is Sheba. And the one that got slapped was Efru, the mixed race girl. She's weak. Y'all see her? She's weak. Y'all see her? She's weak. Okay, so he's clearly talking about Eferu. 
This is a theme that I noticed in the abuse that he hurls at her is he loves to call her weak. I mean, he calls all of the women weak, essentially. But for some reason with Eferu, he likes to throw her race into it. Now, however, he does not bring up her race in this one, but he has in several other ones. So I'm pretty sure when he calls her weak, that's also very much connected to it. Um, but I've, I've noticed that he definitely calls her weak a lot more than the other women. And it's crazy because a lot of the other women from this camp um, that are, you know, dark skin or light skin, but mostly light skin because there's majority of like lighter skin women there, are, like light brown women there. Um, and I think Sheba is like really the, I think she's like one of the darkest women I've seen there and, and maybe another woman, but he really even like his skin complexion there. But anyways, um, it's so funny that he points her out and calls her weak, you know, especially for being mixed race. But this woman has been with him for like three plus years now and she has never told on him. She has never disrespected him. Um, she's never broke character on camera like a lot of the other women, you know, they break character. They can't take it, obviously, because it's just clear abuse. And, you know, sometimes they wig out or they run away and they cry. And I've literally never seen her do it. I've seen her cry on camera, but I've never seen her like run away. She always just takes the punishment and just takes it and takes it and takes it. And, you know, he calls her weak the most. It's crazy. <laughs> So that's another thing. You see how he calls her weak more than the others. He also threatens her and is like, yeah, someone's going to take your place, which by the way, she's not even one of like his number one wives, but all of these wives that are standing against the wall, one, two, three, four, five, six, six whatever, all these women standing against the wall are the ones that he mainly is up under, but he does have like a number one out of all of them, which would be the one that is on the left side, sec uh, second to last on the left side. Her name is Malia. That's his, you know, that's his little ace and everybody else, you know, they get attention when he can give it to them. I don't know, but it's just so funny. He's like, yeah, someone's going to take your place. And I, I would say that she's his least favorite out of all of these women standing against the wall. So it's, it's just funny. Um, he, threatens her with that all the time uh, to maybe keep her in a place of insecurity or make her insecure because he knows she is literally the prettiest wife that he has there. And I feel like he has to like keep her in a certain mindset so that she doesn't like get beside herself or think too much of herself. So he has to like constantly mentally abuse her. He said you're starting to stick out like she hasn't like she hasn't stuck out this whole time. But anyway, being like one of the only mixed race women there, I guess, and you bringing it up like it's a terrible thing. Um, but again, he loves, loves, loves just calling her weak. And that is one of the stereotypes that goes against mixed race women and light skinned women is that we're like weak and submissive. So it's just terrible. It's it's so terrible to see how that could be manipulated and, you know, just can make others endure this type of abuse. Act right, act like you want it. Yeah, that's Aya. I know Aya. Look at Afro, Afro. 
Let me take your motherfucking mind right before I take your place, bitch. Yeah, they're gonna be you gonna be walking through Walmart. Hey, what's up, Chiva? Chiva. Malia, lights. Oh, that's that bitch, Malia. What's up, Malia? We got Zoka. Hold it down, you the queen. It's like a good light caramel. So, I love Zoka. Light brown. Look. Play with God. You got one dark skin woman there. It's God. The black man is God. The black man is God. Say, you have this control, Ken. You have this control, King. As soon as you tap into your power. As soon as you tap into your power. We will suck your dick and lick your toes. We will suck your dick and lick your toes. <laughs> Damn. So, again, um, targeting Eferu. I don't know if you guys all saw that, but he elbowed her for not putting up that sign on time because she wasn't paying attention. I mean, fractions, you know, he's threatening to smack them. I also wanted to go ahead and add in this clip of Eferu. She, I don't know, this is allegedly, but... There's this video that was leaked of Eferu getting a little massage massage or whatnot from one of the men in the camp that is, um, I think, I believe she wasn't with anyone at the time. She was just messing with, you know, the leader, Nature Boy. And this video was leaked and people were saying that it looks like he was trying to force her. So, I mean, there's a lot of abuse in this camp. I wouldn't be surprised if the other men were also abusing the women in this camp, you know, because Nature Boy is abusing them and then it kind of trickles down, you know, vice versa. Because he would play games with these people, he would match them up as couples and then make them leave each other and then like take the men's women to kind of flex some form of masculinity like no these are still my wives um i just basically let you guys borrow them from time to time everybody's sleeping with each other it's just it's just nasty but in this instance it looks like efru did not want this form of i don't know I, it just looks weird you guys take a look at it let me know what you think actually never even seen the other footage where after the fact he's talking about how he looks like he's r rating r wording her and how that's sexy and that's hot and how other people saw that as like hot i don't know i just think that their whole thing is super super bizarre there's definitely not only physical mental but SA abuse going on and I wouldn't be surprised that you know if he's locked up for an amount of years and these people finally start to think for themselves that you know I wouldn't be surprised if Efru came out and then did admit that there were some R words going on um, because the women are just sexually passed around like lollipops. Mm -hmm. 